for example, we had the following problem at one of our customer. So customer has one big main patch panel, so it's uh, planned uh, about uh, uh, more than 100 uh, analog extensions and uh, uh, 250 SIP extensions. So it's a bit big enough customer. And uh, what happened? Uh, after almost each uh, thunderstorm, we were needed to replace uh, Astribank module. So one port will always damaged. So we uh, searched uh, everything and didn't find. So everything is uh, seemed to be okay. Uh, grounding, uh, no external lines, anything. Okay, but eventually we found uh, the reason for this damage. So again, the customer has a patch panel, main patch panel, and from here went cable to another small patch panel near the place where was installed uh, fax machine and uh, the line for this fax machine went through this small patch panel and eventually to main patch panel and here it was connected to Astribank Okay, so port was damaged here. We checked everything, didn't find anything. Uh, eventually, we discovered that uh, to this small patch panel was connected old telco line that for several years was not in use at, <laughs> at all. Okay, but this line uh, went out of the building and the uh, in case of lightning, it worked like antenna that bring high voltage here to this line. And eventually our port was uh, burned. Okay, so it take, uh, took a lot of time for us to find. The customer uh, was not able uh, to find this uh, line and the reason for the problem and uh, blamed us. So uh, we didn't have... Uh, uh, any alternatives to came there and uh, to check the cabling system. So, uh, again, uh, one very important thing, patch panel must be very well grounded. So it's not just with uh, thin wire connected to grounding system. The uh, patch panel must, must be grounded to uh, ground frame with uh, uh, also uh, take into consideration that uh, telecom lines usually are not protected but by telco by uh, uh, anybody else so we should take care that uh, necessary protection equipment will be installed here